The source of truth for which teams exist and who's on them is the team leader. It's anyone that pulls together a group of people to get a bunch of stuff done. How big is a team? It could be eight people, it could be 80 people. Who knows? But the person who does know is the person who's pulling them together and inviting them onto the team. It should be like a, an Xbox game where the player is the one who says, I'm going to name the team. I will invite the people, the players, onto the team. I will have many different teams at any one time. I will have different players on the same team, out of the same player on different teams. That, that reality exists for anyone who's played an Xbox game. Well, in a weird way, that's where the world of work is. You've got people who don't have a manager title playing the role of team leader as they pull people together to get a bunch of work done for the next five months. HR doesn't even see that. HR doesn't. Is, it's completely invisible to each other that team actually exists. And yet, whether or not you're attractive to millennials, whether or not you build a diverse workforce, whether or not you're super productive in terms of what you're doing, all of that depends upon that team and what goes on in that team. And HR can't even see it. HR can't see it. The stupid, crazy situation we're faced with right now is that we have rendered ourselves blind to the most important organizational unit in an organization. We can't see teams. In HR, it's like, well, where does work happen? It happens on teams. No, we can't show you the teams. We can show you a static org structure. Well, thank you. That's why when we do employee opinion surveys, we have to run a million other little sort of separate reports to try and clue together where the actual teams actually occur, because we normally take our existing org structure and we deploy our employee survey against that org structure, as though that org structure was where the work actually happens. And of course, it isn't. So the whole thing is, is, it sort of perpetuates HR's feeling that we are irrelevant to the real world of work. Our data structure has rendered us blind to teams. If your data structure means you can't see where the work actually happens, then almost anything you say about work is irrelevant. Anything you say about diversity is irrelevant. Anything you say about millennials or Gen Z is irrelevant. Anything you say about engagement is just irrelevant. Anything you say about performance, irrelevant. Anything you say about learning, irrelevant. Because all of those things happen in the context of a small community of people that comes together to get, to get work done, which is normally called a team. You can't say anything about that team if you can't see it. You can't see them. It's I don't know why no one's writing about this. I don't know why anyone's not. It's, it's the biggest issue facing all of us that are trying to build great organizations. We can't see where the work happens. That's a problem.